So let's talk about voice tracking, the magic that makes this station live, even though I obviously can't work the traditional way, sitting here all day long and, and broadcasting, because I have a paid job that doesn't allow me to do that. However, if I voice track uh, like 30 minutes, I can create five hours worth of show. So what I simply do is I voice track on breaks, lunch breaks and stuff. I voice track in the evening and sometimes in the night, meaning that I kind of push the programming ahead a number of hours. Uh, so yeah, that's how it works. And I'm going to show you a little bit of, about how it can be done. And what you can see in the lower right corner is the real station hooked up and ready, but I can have advanced the timer so I will not be broadcasting directly into the show because I need to test this and I will delete what I record in advance. Before I start, just remember that live in this case can be like what you're hearing is like one minute after it was recorded because maybe there is a request on Discord and then I can just uh, fix, whip some kind, of, some kind of thing up in like 30 seconds and put it on. And sometimes you can listen to something that's like five hours old, so you'd never know. But I'm always here, so it's it's probably the best thing to call it live, although that's technically not correct. All right, let's do it. So I take the voice track here. I hope you can see the mouse. Uh, look in the lower right corner here. And I put it between Ross, Life on the Street, and this Amiga C2 song. As you can see, you now have something called a voice track placeholder. So when I push the recording button here, you can see the last five seconds of Ross Life on the Street. You have an empty canvas and you have the coming song. So I'm going to just show how this works. Let's do it. Yep, you've been listening to Ross, Life on the Street. And I don't know about you, but Life on the Street seems kind of hard. And the song seems very easy and soft. Don't know why, actually. Going on with Amiga C2, we have no idea what this song's title is. So please keep listening to the Arcade Radio Network. As you see, I can actually speak a little bit on to the next song, but I generally avoid to do that due to compression and so. Okay, that's the magic and you can kind of understand how easy it just is to kind of start pushing stuff in like this. And eventually, yeah, you have it all set up and you have recorded a show. The only hard thing is kind of, as you can see, when you kind of drop a voice track here, there is nothing that really indicates where you dropped it. So sometimes you can kind of get, oh, where was it? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> so I hope this has been some kind of informative. <laughs> 